So the title of this video is ADD is downplayed in our society. And I'm speaking specifically about ADD. It's pronounced as ADHD, but ADD is different. See, ADHD is uh, more when the person is ADD, ADHD is also ADD. They pronounce the same with the H in it. But the thing is, when people think of ADHD, they think of people who are hyperactive. And that's the thing why I say ADD is downplayed in our society. Because ADD is very different from ADHD. And people who have just, who are, who are predominantly hyperactive, have an, have a way easier time functioning in society. And that's the reason why people don't understand ADD because ADHD overshadows ADD because you have a few people who are extremely high functioning who have ADHD. And I mean, you have some people who are hyperactive, and because they're hyperactive, that helps them in a capitalist environment, which encourages you to work a lot, meet deadlines fast, do everything fast. So being hyperactive is a good thing. And that's why people who have ADHD, such as myself, but who are predominantly ADD, are overshadowed by these ADHD people. So ADD is downplayed completely in our society. It's it's a really bad disability. And actually some of the problems that come with it is you have many type of mental dysfunctions that come with just having ADD, such as executive dysfunction, depression, choice paralysis, chronic unemployment, poor sense of timing, auditory processing disorders. There's another disorder that's called dyscalculia, which is a mathematics and computation related disorder that comes with ADD. Sensory processing disorder, forgetting to eat, sleep, going to the bathroom. You know, trouble focusing is just the tiniest thing that you have with it. Choice paralysis, uh, and you know, and then there's also rejective sensitive dysphoria. So within one mental illness, you have many other mental illnesses that are entwined just in one mental illness. And that's what you have with ADD. And you have this your whole life. It doesn't go away. You just have it. And that's it. And if you can't do everything up to speed like everybody else, people think there's something wrong with you or whatever. And you know, that's what it is. What it is is you have a few high-functioning people who are predominantly hyperactive with ADHD. And because they're so successful with ADHD being hyperactive, people don't take ADD seriously or ADHD seriously as a disability because it varies and a few people are insanely successful who have it but the majority of people who have ADD and are not predominantly hyperactive have a very hard time in society they're always being treated last they're always not paid attention to much by their peers. They always have problems with math. They always have problems in school. You know, so AD, ADD is not being taken seriously. It has, it should be taken seriously in our society. That's it. There should be more support for people with ADD and there isn't. And, uh, you know, so, you know, it's just like, it's just like, how do I explain it? How do I explain it? I'm not, I know I'm talking a little too much now. If you have ADD, 
and you're predominantly inattentive, like me, and you have predominantly inattentive, then your brain can't even function without medications. And you're stuck living this life your whole life. And the medications wear you out over time. But you have no cho choice to take them anyway because then you function poorly without them in the first place. Even if you go off them for a long time, you function extremely poorly. And um, so it's a problem. And if you have ADD and you're predominantly inattentive, or if you have ADHD and you're predominantly inattentive, you're basically living life as a minor character. That's what I'd say. People just see you as like a minor character. You know, like you're not important compared to somebody who can do everything at a fast speed. Everything in life is speed and how fast you can do it. So, you know, I made this video to raise more awareness about ADD. And that's all. Have a nice day.